Halloween was approaching on the island of Sodor, and all the engines on every line were busy and busier. But perhaps one of the busiest engines of them all was none other than Percy, who tried doing things his own way and got into an accident with the trucks. He was sentenced by Sir Topham Hatt to stay on the Little Western until he had learned his lesson. One night, Percy returned to the sheds, tired and worn out from the day's work. As he puffed into the shed, Oliver was telling Duck a spooky tale. The Diesels had brought the engine to their secret hideaway, but little did they know, they picked the wrong engine. They had brought the beast to their lair. Duck shivered. What did the beast do, he asked. Well, continued Oliver, I don't think I'd ought to say, for it'll give you nightmares beyond belief. Well, what does he look like? asked Duck. He is a very similar engine to me. Same model, same build. Some say even the same color. But there's no mistaking the whistle. The whistle is haunting. When you hear the whistle, it's best to puff away as fast as you can unless you want to join the Diesels in their horrific fate. Percy had enough. Will you two please be quiet, he snapped. I have a busy day tomorrow and I need some sleep. And eventually, Percy did fall asleep. Later that week, it was a foggy day and Oliver's crew had found something wrong with this whistle. His whistle made an eerie sound whenever he blew it. The crew tried to remedy the problem, but it was no use. We don't have the time to fix it now. We'll just have to deal with it for today, old boy. Oliver groaned to himself as he then went to put together his train. Later, Percy was at the station. He had just finished unloading passengers off his two coaches and freight off a singular truck. He sat at the station, thinking about Oliver's story. The beast, he muttered. Such a ridiculous thing. But as he waited, he then heard an eerie whistle in the distance. Percy then went pale as he then saw an engine that looked very much like Oliver approaching the station. It's the beast, he cried, as he then raced out of the station, knocking his crew out of his cab. Percy raced down the line, his wheels pounded against the rails, but he couldn't stop, even if he wanted to. He's after me! Cinema switched Percy onto a siding. And before Percy knew it, he crashed through the buffers and had come off the rails. Nobody was hurt, but Percy felt miserable. Soon, Oliver arrived, and along with him was the Fat Controller. I would have hoped you had learned to not believe in tales of monsters and ghosts, Percy. He boomed. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, said Percy weakly. Perhaps, finished the top of hat, keeping you in the yard will prevent you from running away from your crew. When Percy returned from the works, he stayed in the yard and shunted trains all day. From time to time, Oliver would whistle and laugh as he passed by. But sometimes, Percy wished it was the beast instead.